When looking for new sneakers, you want sneakers that look good and are very comfortable, and these are getting harder and harder to find at affordable prices. Please, no! No! But in this video, I have 10 really good sneaker options that are under $200 and that you can wear every day. Now, the first sneaker I'm going to talk about are these right here, and these are the A6 Gel 1130s. A6 has become really popular over the last year, and if you're looking for your first entry sneaker into the A6 brand, ask me! This is a great sneaker to start with as they retail at $100, making it one of the cheapest models out there. They also do come with a variety of different colorways of which you can wear every single day. And when it comes to sizing on the 1130s, these do fit true to size. Taking the number nine spot, we have the Flowers for Society Speed One. These retail for about $160, and I believe the main captivating feature of these sneakers right here is the super unique design, and it is something that a lot of people aren't wearing currently. Flowers for Society is a relatively new brand and was made by a former Adidas employee. <laughs> and what they brought to the sneaker market right here is definitely unique and is going to set them apart from the rest of the sneaker brands. Overall, they do have really good collaborations that look really nice on foot. And when it comes to the other sneaker models, they do have various others. But when it comes to the seed ones, these are a very comfortable pair of shoes that are very versatile. Another A6 sneaker that I'm going to talk about is the A6 Gel NYC. The materials on the Gel NYC are slightly better than the 1130s, making it more durable and also super comfortable. Yo, 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 yo. Sizing wise, the Gel NYCs fit a little bit more narrow when compared to the 1130s, so I definitely recommend going up half a size in these NYCs. Coming in at number 7, we have the Yeezy 700 V1 Analog. Damn! Now, because of the recent overload of Yeezys, because of their split with Adidas, there are much more pairs available and I can imagine they are very affordable. These are incredibly comfortable with that full leg boost and I definitely feel like these pair of sneakers definitely fit that category of being very versatile and you can wear them with a bunch of different fits, whether it may be shorts for the summertime or a pair of jeans. This sneaker does it all. All in all, this is another one of those shoes that I definitely see going up in the future in terms of pricing because Adidas has sold out all of their Yeezy sneakers available. And a quick recommendation on the sizing, I definitely recommend you go up half a size just because they fit a little bit snug, but this is definitely a pretty solid sneaker. Now, if you're not really into Adidas and you're looking for a slimmer type of shoe, Nike has a really good option, which is the Nike Killshot 2. This sneaker only retails at about $90, making it one of the cheapest Nike models you can get out there. And when it comes to the sneaker, the sneaker is very easy to style and also fits true to size. Now, I've always liked the Nike Killshot 2s as I've showed in the previous videos. But when it comes to these sneakers right here, I just had a feeling that they would come back in this year. Coming in at number five, we have the New Balance 960, and this is a pair I've recommended time and time again. This is one of the most comfortable shoes you can get hands down. No cap. And it has a very unique look, which separates it from the rest of the New Balance sneakers, which is pretty interesting considering it was released a couple years ago. There are a ton of different options for the sneaker in terms of colorways and also different styles. But overall, you're getting a great pair of sneakers that you can sometimes find on sale. But to normally get this 9060, you can find them for about $110 to about $150. And for me personally, I believe this is a great deal that you're going to get a lot of wear for the summer. A brand that I haven't really discussed much on this channel is a Swiss brand, and they definitely belong to be on this list because of how popular they have become. And one of their first entry sneakers that I recommend is the OnCloud 5. So I actually haven't tried on a pair for myself. But other people have said great things about the comfort, and I can't lie, when hearing about the cushioning system they do have, it does sound pretty appealing, as they call it their gravity foam. Additionally, these sneakers come with a speed lacing system, which essentially means you just slip on the shoe, and then the shoe's already tied on for you. But according to the size recommendations on the website, these fit true to size, and there are a bunch of different colorways. Perfect! At number three, we definitely have a summertime sneaker, and this is the Air Jordan 3 Craft Ivory. So the current price on these sneakers right here is about $170 to about $230 and I just think this is overall a great pair of sneakers and some people might be mad at this statement but I would definitely pick up these Jordan 3 Craft Ivories over the J Balvins which are the most hyped up Jordan 3s currently. I definitely think for the price tag that you pay on these, this is definitely a great pair of sneakers. And not just that, the unique details that you get with the materials and also the branding on these is just phenomenal and you also get an incredible colorway. 
These look great with a bunch of different outfits, especially those summer outfits, and the colorway complements each other super nice with those light fits when you get that white, light gray, and also the sale colorway. But with all that being said, obviously Jordans aren't the most comfortable pairs out there, so it just depends if you're looking for looks or comfort. Coming in at number two, check out the New Balance 9060 that start at $150. This sneaker continues to sell out in pretty much every colorway that drops, but this is a relatively new model from the brand that a lot of people like, and this is also wide foot friendly that also fits true to size. Simply that. Coming in at number one, we have the Wait for it. Here it comes. Almost there. Nike Numero, designed by Japan. It is one of the most comfortable and versatile everyday sneakers that you can buy right now. And when it comes to the regular Juvenile 5, that is a great sneaker with a bunch of different colorways, but this one is a bit elevated and a ton more special. In this sneaker, you've got a bunch of different materials we haven't seen on the previous Nike Juvenile 5s, which includes the suede and the leathers, and you also have an enlarged Nike swoosh, which I really like on this sneaker. I think this sneaker is really nice and a perfect summertime option, so if you're looking for a sneaker that is very versatile and also comfortable, but at the same time is very special, this sneaker currently goes for about $180 to $200. I think the price is definitely worth it and is an incredible option for this year. But you guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this list and also what you would potentially add to the sneaker. And if you'd like to know about the newest addition to the Nike Pegasus line, go ahead and click this video.